Cancer. This is your tarot reading for August 8th through the 17th. And the title of this is definitely most fitting for you. Because you've learned to no longer be the chaser or the runner for that matter. You've learned stillness, which was very hard for you. Not retreating into your shell, not fleeing, standing still, walking in faith, one step at a time, trusting and honing your intuition. Now, yes, many of you, myself included, I'm a Cancerian, have been in these soulmate karmic cycles, particularly present day or recent past. There are very strong soul agreements, soul contracts, however you want to call that, soul connections, partnerships that you're learning from. And because you are learning, because you are taking it one step at a time, you are emerging as the dragonfly. You're learning to release the guilt. You're releasing any beliefs that no longer assist in your soul's growth. So you don't have to feel guilty that something didn't work out. You don't have to feel guilty that they weren't reciprocating what you put into the relationship. You've learned to let go of it if that's what's necessary. You've shed the grief. You've cried the tears. You've healed your own heart. And you're understanding fully now that losing something was simply an opportunity for you to appreciate what you have and even appreciate the lessons you've learned from the relationships. And because of that, now you have success. And the thing that plagued you the most in life was love. Being a Cancerian, you're the mother of love. You're the nurturer of the zodiac. You're the giver, the biggest giver of all of the zodiac. And yet you were not ever really receiving even close to the same level of love that you put out. You've learned a lot. I've learned a lot that we give from our heart without expectation. We let go of expectations and then we don't have to feel like we're not enough. We don't have to feel like they're not giving their 100% because we're starting to understand who everyone really is around us and what level of capability they have when it comes to the language of love, which is what we speak very fluently. We spoke it very well, but we didn't understand it when someone else spoke it to us. If it was in a different tone or a different way than what we know to express it. And we're learning that now. And there truly is no greater goal in life for anyone, but particularly Cancerians than love and that's a fact you can't avoid it it's who you are you're embracing it you're speaking your words into existence now because of understanding this you're alchemizing it you're making your own magic with your voice your vibration your words 
and that's creating beautiful growth for you. The winds of change are blowing in your favor now, finally, Cancer. This is honestly the most beautiful, elegant, poetic reading I have ever done for Cancerians. Adventures await you. Fun. Fun. Enjoyment of life. Things that light your passion in beautiful ways. Finding those connections that makes you feel whole. That creates your biosphere, your biodome that is your safety net. And all Cancerians, we want to be nested in our home. We want to feel safe and secure and stable there. It's what we've always strived for. And Spirit is saying that that opportunity awaits you. And this is the week that you will see this begin to come into fruition. And I'm going to tell you the same thing that I told Taurus in their reading. And maybe you have some Taurus in your chart that you would like to um, go take a look at what their week is looking like for them because they are master manifestors this week and so are you but in a huge way for the whole world because in the lessons that we learn and the growth that we obtain in our soul in our vibration we not only create that safe nest for ourselves; it's a beautiful ripple effect just like the butterfly effect that ripples out into the world it affects the whole world it breaks karmic cycles it breaks familial debt it ends pain and suffering for so many people and creates this unity that all Cancerians desire for everyone for everything, no matter what you look like, no matter what walk of life you are, what animal or creature you are. We want harmony and peace and love and joy and plentifulness for all. And by leveling up within yourself, you are actually alchemizing this outwardly for others. And this is the week that it really starts to take off. You've got movement that happens in lightning speed. And let's keep in mind that thought is faster than the speed of light. So if you know how to be a creator and you know how to use your voice and alchemize that, then you also understand at this point that your thought can move mountains. Your thought can manifest things rapidly when you're ready. And so because of this stillness that you have learned and mastered, where you don't make any hasty decisions or sudden movement, and you remain grounded in your energy, and you trust your instincts like the wolf, you're listening and the world is smiling on you the world is moving in your favor finally your efforts your work is paying off you're finally seeing your seeds that you've planted grow and flourish and multiply and there is some kind of really beautiful union right in front of you. Really beautiful union. That's perfect. The king and the queen of cups came out together. This is your relationship that you've always yearned for. You've always strived to achieve. Your ships are coming in finally, Cancer. And this is going to be a union that lasts. This is a serious relationship. 
This is someone who's in it to win it for the long haul. That's there to lift you up and support you and help you to grow the way that you do for others. This is you getting all of your cups filled. None are left empty. You won't be left feeling the lack or not enough. You have a mature individual coming into your relationship status with you, leveling up in some way for you, male or female, making you feel privileged to be with them and truly feel like you are enough. This person treats you like that queen of cups that you truly are and that you deserve and always have deserved to be treated like. The suffering is over. There's a nail in that coffin. So if there's any ounce of fear left in you, let it go. Because you have nothing but happiness ahead of you. And you're going to start really seeing it this week. These new adventures, this fun you're going to have, this enjoyment, this passion that reignites in you. It's going to be because you've found your home. You've found your family. you found your soul tribe. you found your perfect twin flame mate. Finally. So trust in your ability to create the visions that are in your soul. Continue to connect to the pulse of Mother Earth because she is guiding you through these changing times. You're understanding now that you're a celestial being with unlimited potential and there is so much for you to share with the world and there are no limitations. You are magnificent, amazing, and unique, but most importantly, you are enough. And because you've taken this one step at a time, and you chose to come from a place of love, And you've sent that love energy out even to your quote-unquote enemies who you no longer see as an enemy at all. And you know how to sit quietly more often. And you know how to give yourself permission to be enough, to have enough, to feel love. And because you teach best what you most needed to learn, which was self-love, your blessings are upon you this week. And you are going to start seeing the fruits of your labor. Your efforts are finally being rewarded this week. So this is a really beautiful and exciting week for you. And I find it quite interesting that there's um, so many people in the Zodiac this week that are experiencing matters of the heart because we're also in Venus retrograde, which forces us to look at, question, and then take action on where our heart can be restored and be fulfilled. So I think it's like poetic justice that's happening for many of us in the Zodiac. And I personally, as a Cancerian, am very grateful that it's our time. And it's our time to shine because we will teach what we most needed to learn. And that's self-love. 
and we all need more lessons than that, right? All right, that's what I have for you. Until next week, be well and be blessed in love and light.